Hello and welcome to this fifth virtual happy hour. I see I already have someone in the chat room. Tiffany, welcome. Dawn, Dawn, welcome. Go ahead. If you've been in my virtual happy hours or any of my webinars before, you know you can say hi or I'd love it if you would just type in where you're calling in from. So as we wait, Rob from Boston. Rob, you know I'm going to be chatting about you. I love it. Bianca, welcome. Jan, hello. As we will, as we wait for the hundreds of you to get in the line with Drink in Hand. Veronica from Argentina. Wow, I love it. Um, hello, Kelly from New York, my New York people. Oh, I hope you're hanging in there, guys. Really, our hearts are all going out to you all there. Welcome, welcome. Okay, you guys were great. Um, I hope you, did you love the photo I sent of some of our happy hour friends with wine in hand? That was you guys taking selfies and, and sending it to me, which I loved, by the way. So I really appreciate it. Austin, Texas, welcome. Vancouver Island, okay, I love it. We've got lots of people coming on the line. And if this is your first time with me, we have been doing these virtual happy hours since the crisis hit. So my first one was March 18th, and we've been walking people through how to start or do remote design and staging services. So I'm actually going to be doing a lot of recapping here because I had a lot of people say, oh, no, Audra, I was just on your last one, and I feel like I missed a lot. Well, that's okay. Don't worry. You're here now. Uh, and if you haven't been on these webinars, sometimes it shows blurry at first. So if I look blurry, it's because it takes a while sometimes for your internet signal to kind of clean it up. If it freezes on you or you don't hear me anymore, it, it could be that your internet kind of froze up. You know, we're all on the internet these days, so <laughs> that happens. There's that little reconnect button at the top. You can just go ahead and click that and then it'll reconnect you and put you right back in our situation and in our chat room and I love it we've got a couple hundred of you already jumping in um Ola from San Fran Psycho okay Susan I've got I've got some comedians here I love it <laughs> welcome got people from all over the world which is super exciting I had shout out to Lorraine who she was going to try and stay up till 11 30 tonight her time in Manchester England to watch this and drink with us so hopefully she was able to stay up okay we've got um Ontario Cindy welcome all right, so you guys kind of know the drill. We've we've kind of go through this. I kind of wait, let people kind of jump in. I love to. Uh, <laughs> you guys are so funny. No ice in my white rind. Yeah, I'm going full strength, Karen. The chat room is a fun place to be. Get comfortable with it. It's just a, a really open place for everybody to be transparent, to be vulnerable, to help one another out. We are all design lovers. I mean, that's the one thing we all have in common, at least. And this is an area that we're going to share comments. I always get your feedback. What I usually do is um, ask We'll take questions after each section, particularly in this session, I will, because I'm going to be going really quickly recap through a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and just share my screen, turn that on uh, so that you can see my new presentation. All right, here we go. Welcome to our weekly virtual happy hour. I had to just put that photo back up there to my Gorgeous, all of you gorgeous people um, from all over, thank you for being here. I consider it a huge honor to be here with you. This has been some unusual times, right? Did you guys think it would, would go at least five weeks? I mean, here we are five weeks later. What uh, Crazy, right? Did you? <laughs> so anyway, um, what are we going to talk about? Here's what we're going to talk about in this one session. And of course, I told you I'm going to take questions. So hopefully you had your burning question and you brought it with you because I'm here to, to answer it. Um, but I always like to have a little bit of an agenda. People who know me know I'm pretty structured. <laughs> Katie, there you are. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to talk about some myths that some of us are thinking about when it comes to doing business during this time. I'm going to uh, debunk some of those. Why now could be the perfect opportunity for you. And I'm going to have a message to each one of you, depending on where you're at um, in life and how to kind of set yourself up for success a little bit. Uh, how to create a contact process and approach, um, how to authentically connect uh, with friends for design and with clients, 
during this time because that is usually a big issue right now for people. And I, of course, I always like to share people's stories when you share it with me. So I want to thank you all on this line who have been with me. Some of you I know have been with me for all of the weeks and some of you who are new, I want to thank you for the questions and input that you have emailed me. I love it. I appreciate all of that stuff. So who is this for? It's for people who are home stagers right now. Home stagers, designers, my members I know are on this line. If you're one of my HSR members, you've taken my training, love to see if you're on the line, go ahead and give me a shout out. Um, it's for new home stagers, especially people who are just entering into the industry. And it's even about people who are thinking about the industry. I already saw someone in the chat room had a question, how do I get started? <laughs> I think that's great. I love it, you know, because we're all, this is a time where all of us, we're all doing a lot of soul searching. What I'm going to do is give you my very first um, poll because I want to see where you guys are at. And I'm going to ask you, I'm going to, takes me a moment to get this started. I'm going to publish it. Go ahead. Hopefully you can see that poll and vote. Where are you at? Have you been a stager and designer with your existing business for at least a year? That's the top one. The middle one is if you're a new stager and you're just starting under a year, go ahead and put it in. And the bottom one is if you're just, you love design, you love to join this sort of things, or you're just looking into the industry, you're absolutely welcome here as well. I always like to see who I'm talking to. Last webinar I did this and it was 30, 30, 30, pretty much one third of each. And this one I see I have 50% um, more kind of experienced stagers, 30% new and 20% looking into it. So great. I love it. Thank you guys for voting. I always like to keep it pretty active. I'm going to go back to the chat. All right. So I mentioned one of the things that um, is in, oh, I should mention this. I actually have a resource sheet I'm going to have you guys download at the end. I don't release it until the very end of this because sometimes when I release it, the hundreds of you go to download it and it freezes up the system and I don't, I don't want to lose you here. So, <laughs> so I'm going to, I want you to know I have links to all these resources I'm going to talk to you about in that session and this is my longest one yet. Okay, so I love podcasts every once in a while, and I do like Amy Porterfield. I know a lot of you know who she is. She's a pretty big time um, internet marketer, and she's actually a neighbor of mine. But I had mentioned that I watched a podcast. I mentioned this last week. I didn't watch. I listened to her podcast, and she said something that really resonated with me, and it was something that I have to kind of say again to you guys. You may not have the gift of income right now, but you do have the gift of time. And how are you going to plan to use it? And for those of you who were on last week, when I said this to you, what comes to mind? Go ahead in the chat room. If you're feeling very vulnerable, you're ready to share, what comes to mind? How do you plan to use this gift of time? And some of, some of you may have the gift of an income right now, but I know a lot of us don't. And so it, it's, it's a very unusual time for everyone. How do you plan to use it? Go ahead and put it in the chat room. I'm really curious. In that same podcast, she kind of talked about these three myths to kind of debunk right now that we all kind of seem to think we should be acting. Um, I love it. Some of you said you're going to retrain. You're going to connect with agents. Cleaning out your home. I love it, Colleen. That's a good one. Building your business. Organizing. Yes, organizing is a good one. Share your knowledge. I love that. Learning new things is a good one. Um, learning about staging, uh, someone wanted to offer, go and offer design. I have a lot of stagers who don't offer design enough, so they kind of want to swap to that. Kathy says color class, really smart. She's going to learn more about that. Um, update the website, D, oh yeah. In fact, how, <laughs> you guys may have noticed, but my website has totally changed. I updated our website and our um, purchase page to make it much more clear for people. So um, I get that. I'm going to share that once I get it out of my presentation so you could see what I would have been up to, but I love it. E-design, that's a good one, Alba. So great, yeah, ooh, create content to collect emails. Shay, so smart, your sales funnels, you're, you're working on those, that is so smart. Rob, yay, welcome Rob. Signed up, he's gonna start learning. Training yourself in new skills, update your after photos. Leslie, that's a really good one too. Um, Leslie, I have a really good blog post. Ah, it was about eight blog posts ago that shows you on your iPhone how you within five seconds can make that photo look Instagrammable. Is It's like an easy automatic trick for those of you. Okay, so let's talk about those myths. One myth that people seem to think right now is no one is buying. No one is buying right now. And I just wanna 
tell you guys that current home sellers, they're on the market right now and they need options. Their options right now are either to lower their price because things have kind of hit pause a little bit um, or, or, or make them look more appealing online, those online photos. They really need to shine. Um, future sellers, this is for my stagers, they need advice. You know, they have the gift of time to really dial in their home right now. Agents need direction and homeowners are getting tired of their space, right? We're all stuck in our home right now. So, so that is a myth. People are buying right now. And in fact, how many of you guys are familiar with Bark? bark.com. Now, in my training, I talk to my members about free directories or directories. They can list their business. This is kind of the way, kind of marketing 101, a great way to be found online. That's kind of your first focus is you want to make sure as a business, you're in all the places that your clients might be searching for you. That's just internet marketing 101. But Bark is one of those directories. And I have to tell you, I signed up just as, you know, just to see how responsive it is. And I have been getting more of these kind of things from Bark and they're not always in my area, by the way. A lot of times these Bark things um, are from people who are looking now for remote designers because no, they don't want you going into their house right now. They want you to actually um, work with them remotely. So I'm actually getting more of these. Have you guys seen this? Anyone who does sign up for Bark? Um, I've noticed a much higher um, response rate that I've been getting to that, which tells me people are looking for designers. Um, the other myth that I think a lot of people think is wrong is they think it's inconsiderate to sell something right now. I know a lot of stagers and designers just decided during this time, well, can't go into my client's house. I'm just going to hunker down for a while and uh, focus on, you know, my website or inventory or that sort of thing. And I'm, I'm just going to wait until this is over. How many of you guys kind of had that mentality where you're just kind of thinking, Hmm, I think it's, it's rude to sell. I don't want to do that. Well, I just got to give you some, you know, encouragement and tell you that clients still need you and they need you in times of crisis, probably more than ever. Uh, sellers, they need to sell, they need to prepare. I love it. You guys are a can, obviously you guys are a can do group and you're a group of learners because you're here, most of you. So I love that. Um, but don't, don't, don't give into that myth. It is a myth because people um, still need your gift. They still need your talent. Um, so my next question is, how are you going to adjust your life and business? And I always say, you know, unique times call for a unique approach right? Um, this is your chance as a business. This is particularly, I'm speaking to my new stagers. I have a lot of people who started in my training a few months ago and they're like, oh, I feel weird launching my business now. Is it odd? I actually think this is a really interesting and unique time for you to really grow your business and put yourself out there because it's a time for you to either really shine or annoy people. And I'm going to get a little flack for this, but I got to ask you guys, how many of you are kind of annoyed right now at some of the overly salesy emails you've been getting during this time? Any of you? I, I, I really notice, you can really tell whether people are being tone deaf right now, tone deaf, tone deaf, or, or, or caring, right? Yeah, you guys get it. I love it. You guys are quick. Yes. Um, and so I just want, you know, us to shift our perspective in, in my March 25th presentation. And if you guys haven't watched that, you really have to, it is about shifting your perspective and not, not being that overly salesy person. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are like, but to actually go in with help. And that's why when this first thing crisis first started, I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm dropping everything I'm doing. And I'm just going to do these happy hours to help our industry, not just for my members, but for everybody to shift their mindset and business into a helpful mode. Right? So right now that's got to be the way that we approach people to, because your clients are thinking the same thing. They don't want to get emails from you. Um, hey, hey, I'm here. They don't want to get emails. I got an email like this just the other day. And I know I'm going to get, um, you know, it's, it's, it's what not to do. And I don't usually like to bad mouth, but I'm giving you an example of what you shouldn't do. This was an email from a staging company, attention. You can see the, the subject line, attention, all caps. Everybody, did you know real estate's not on hold, right? And then it was, if you scroll down, the email had giant images that didn't even come through on my email system. And then it said, call now, call, you know, big red button. And 
30% off, you know, and it was just, I know you may know them and I'm not, I, I hate to use an example. They're actually a competitor of mine. They're a training company. It's a competitor, but I was like, no, that is not the right tone to have with your clients right now. I, and, and, and so I hope you get that in the spirit. I didn't mean to necessarily make, make them look bad. It's just not the right tone right now. So I mentioned how many of you guys are hunkering down, maybe watching a little too much Netflix, it's okay, I wanna encourage you, it's not too late for you to get the right tone out to your clients right now. <laughs> Tiffany, I'm glad that you said that because it was, it was just a bit too much. And I thought, okay, I hate to use the example, but I'm gonna use an example. You need to see the right and wrong way to do things. And that's what I'm gonna walk you through in this training. If you don't know who I am, I'm Audra Slinky. I'm president of the Home Staging Resource. This is our logo. So people in the staging industry, I've been training people for oodles of years, um, I started this training company in 2006. Um, I've been blogging, I've won some awards, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's, that's all great stuff. Um, but I'm really most proud to work with people like you, with my members, and help people um, create the business of their dreams, basically. I love the idea of someone finding, having that idea of the business that they want to start because they love design and making that a reality for them. So that's kind of, that's my jam. That's what I love. I started a color training and then I started started an e-design training. So for those of you who are thinking, well, how does she even know how to work remote? How, you know, what's her experience? Well, when I started this e-design training two years ago, I've actually been walking e-designers on how to work remote with clients, right? E-design is remote. So I know a thing or two about technology and making remote work happen. Um, so just a little qualification, I always have to share that. So if you've been on our site lately, have any of you guys noticed how our website has totally changed? I, I've been working on my site too, just like you guys. And we changed our menu and yes, thank you so much better. Oh, so I get it. This is a good time for all of us to flex our creative juices and work on our websites. We're on the things that we're building. Um, I changed, I completely changed our buy page to make it a lot more cleaner. Um, and, and yeah, it's so much easier. People were, I couldn't even stand to go to our buy page, you know, so it was one of those things on my to-do list and I checked it off, worked, worked my butt off over this weekend and I'm super proud of it if you haven't seen it. But I want to encourage you guys because I also have this page, you guys know, if you have missed it, the last five weeks, I've added the last five weeks of happy hour to the grow page. So it's homestagingresources.com grow. So I, I got emails from a bunch of you that said, I just jumped on. How do I see the old stuff? It's on this page. It starts with the guide. So that actually brings me to my next question. I want to make sure so I know you guys are actually, oops, I should have removed that poll. Sorry, I didn't want that poll in your way because the chat room's being a way cooler. Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me go to the next poll question. Mm, never mind. I was going to ask you guys, I'm going to just throw it in the chat room. How many of you guys have gone through my guide? This was back in March 25th and started implementing remote design. Go ahead and put it. Have you done any remote consults with clients? I'd just be really curious. It's, you don't need to take training. I, I, we're not competitors. I love that, Sandra. Um, okay, completely change your website. Okay, Alba. Alba has, Kristen has, Dawn. Great, Valerie. Okay, I'm so excited that you guys have all started doing this. Great. Well, if you have time in the chat to share your experience or any, Raina, welcome. Kareen, oh my sisters on the line, yay Kareen. You guys know I share my sister's work a lot, but she's been doing most all of it remote. We do also family Zoom calls, which are also hilarious. But my very first happy hour to you guys, I actually, our first happy hour, which is all posted, so if you wanna go back to March 18th, I talked to you about how to talk to clients and how I gave you this email, this copy and paste email, which by the way, the link is in the um, download I'm gonna have for you at the end of this because if you've forgotten this was just kind of an email this is the right approach to send to to check in with your clients like hey number one paragraph one how can I help you I mean that's that's really what it was so hopefully you guys did this I saw some of my stagers did it's not too late to kind of how can I help you you know these are strange times um, so that was kind of the first thing of what I walked you through and then after that I walked you through considering your services um, setting up acuity, automating your process so clients could book a phone call with you. And by the way, if you don't have that for your business, 
anyway, that's probably a good idea to do that. Um, editing, I gave you a bunch of Canva images that, to edit and then um, editing, adding an email series. So that was all kind of in the guide. Oh, good. So Alba used it. Good. Great experience. Okay. I love it. So Wendy said, oh man, Wendy, you did a 5,000 square foot home. Yes, that does take longer. Remember, keep it to 30 minutes. Oh God, design. Um, one agent contacted you for discovery call, Shanna said, and she set up a Zoom meeting with four other agents. Shanna, that is awesome. Shanna, I want to know, I wonder, did you do my Facebook Messenger tip? Because that's what I told you last week. Um, Sian asks if Acuity is better than Calendly. Acuity um, actually helps you, it sets up automatic emails and Q Calendly, the last time I checked, of course that was like a year ago, doesn't. And I think Acuity is cheaper and Sian, I like Acuity because it's free. The account is free um, to start. Now it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. For $15 a month, you get to set up the auto emails and I even gave you the email scripts and you actually get to set it up with a free Zoom account and it'll actually create that Zoom profile for your client. So it's all very automated. Um, so I, I think it's worth it if you're going to use it. This is what I say. So I walked you through my seven steps. I'm just doing a quick recap in that guide on how to do all those things. The so first thing, consider your services, set up your Acuity scheduler. I had a 20 minute video that showed you how to do that. And I gave you the copy and paste service descriptions and the welcome email. <laughs> and I gave you Canva images that you could access to make look pretty and, and use those images for your services. Because right, we're in the image industry. I want you to look good. So here is an example of what Acuity looks like. And here's what it looks like if you're setting up your services. And, and I have you do this. It takes a little while. But I had you do these kind of free discovery calls for clients right now. They're really no different than if a client was to pick up the phone and you were going to talk to them anyway, for the most part. But it's that it's that sending goodwill, you know, putting it out there. And it is a little different because you are giving them, you're showing them your stuff a little bit, a little bit of your expertise. This is a limited time that you're actually going to do this, or you may decide to do it longer if it's if it's a formula that really works for you. Um, but my e-design people know I actually have them do this for e-design. So I kind of shared a little bit of the process. It gets your clients, more importantly, comfortable with technology, booking a call with you, using Zoom. These days, you know, no one really knew what Zoom was. Now everybody knows what Zoom is. Every, Zoom's stock has skyrocketed, right? Because every family now is doing Zoom calls. Um, and it gives clients a lot of value up front. So, Somebody asked in the chat room, Sheila, this is this webinar is not for students have taken my course. Sheila, I'm actually going back through some of the live free webinars that I've been giving. So this is just a recap um, of my A to Z guide. OK, um, it gives a lot of clients value up front. It helps people not to feel isolated. So this is when I suggested that you offer kind of these free discovery calls and said they're have your clients schedule it and then you can rather than a phone call asking all this question on the phone, you're actually getting all that information up front from your client when you set it up on Acuity. Um, so I gave you all this information just to copy and paste. You just copy and paste it into your Acuity account. I showed you how to do that. I gave you information to do a design discovery, not just staging and design. You should be also selling design. So I gave you that. And I even gave you information to set up an agent call. So I know a lot of you did that, which I love, that you're connecting with agents. And, and that's, it is, yeah, I love what Andrew said. Um, Google Hangouts is another great resource as well. I like them both. Um, and I gave you these Canva images so we don't all look the same. Um, that all of this guys will be in the download that I give you to at the end. So if you're just, if it's your first time on a call with me and you missed the last, you know, four virtual calls, no worries. You can always watch that and get caught up. But I give you all these tools so that you can run your business remotely or start your staging and design business, you know, working remote and helping people. But Acuity looks like this. So when a client calls, when they connect, they get to pick a time and it, and then it goes to your scheduler. So it's really easy for people just to book time so that you're not playing phone tag, right? So it's just kind of using technology to make your job a little bit easier, especially in these days. So I mentioned, you know, the next happy hour, I talked about what technology should we use with your Acuity scheduler? You know, if you're gonna have the get, you know, discovery call, free guidance call, whatever it is, um, 
you know, Hangouts, FaceTime, Skype, or Zoom. I just told you guys, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, this is what you use, right? And what your client's comfortable with. But I did like the idea. I told you that um, here's a Zoom call. This is my Zoom uh, book club. So Zoom's kind of cool. It looks like Brady Bunch. I had never really used it a lot because I use a different webinar program, as you see. But here we all are. So if you've never used Zoom, it does look like that. And I liked it, of course, for all of us because the price was right, right? It's free. Um, so Zoom actually will connect with your Acuity and it'll create the Zoom meeting automatically when a client books a meeting on Acuity with you if you pay for the $15 Acuity, which I kind of loved. And so that's what I mentioned. You know, you can do this. What I recommend is if you are going to do a Zoom meeting with clients or a Google Hangout or whatever what you're doing, is I recommend you take that meeting information, you make it really easy for your clients to connect with you. In fact, I love this. Andrea said this. She walked through the presentation easily. She took my advice. She probably copied. I copy and paste paste. Here's the meeting. I copy and paste. Not only do I email it to my clients, I text it to them, right? Because it's so much easier for someone. Oh, on my phone. Oh, that's right. I've got my Zoom meeting. Click. Now, we, now we're ready, right? Gotta, don't assume people understand technology. Make it really easy. Um, in Acuity, it just shows up in their appointment reminder like this. Um, so, and I in that session, I also gave you all of these Canva templates, and you guys know Canva is free too. You can pay for the upgraded, but you don't have to. You don't really need it. Um, but these templates, you can change it to your brand. You can add your logo, obviously change the color scheme. But for those of you who are familiar with Facebook ads, I thought, or even just posting this on Facebook, I had some people who they posted this or they um, posted the one, two, three ad. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, thing. But these were some of the templates that I gave you. I thought they were kind of cute, plan for selling, and you can just edit them to your heart's content. Okay, so that's kind of where we were at. That was happy hour number two. I gave you all that, kind of connected you so that you had kind of the structure to go remote with your clients. And Andrea, all those templates, I do have the Canva link, and it will be in the download at the end of this session that I'm going to give you. I kind of collated it all on one big word doc for you guys. <laughs> All right. Um, great. Thanks, you guys. Any, so I told you guys when it came to your 30 minute call, I recommend just doing a quick third walk through with the client, give them a bunch of great ideas, just see where they're at, right? This is just a time that they're, you know, in that session, I told you sellers are in a tough place right now. So they really need some encouragement, they need some calm, they need some guidance impart your gift. You've got this great gift for design. I know you all. I always do this in every webinar, but I'm going to do it now. How many of you guys have been redecorating or redesigning your room since you were kids? Or if you haven't been doing it since you were a kid, you do it now. <laughs> you just can't help yourself, right? You walk into a space and you're like, da -da 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 -da. yeah, that's just how we work, right? We're all wired for that. So go ahead in the chat. If you, if that's you, if that's what you've done, we are this unique breed. I always say that. We assume everybody's like us, but they're not like us. Trust me, most people are not. And in fact, I would almost say that 90% of people are not because when they say only 10% of people can envision the potential of a space, this is a staging statistic, I think from National Association of Realtors from way back when. But that means me, that to me says that we must be that 10%. We must be, right? <laughs> so anyway, so they need us. So automating that first phone call and adding value, um, it's really giving them rapport, helping them out. This is a tough time for everybody. Why not um, do a little help? I know for a lot of us, you know, when this first hit, I know I thought to myself, what can I feel so helpless being at home and being stuck at home? What can I do to help others? Well, this is your gift. This is what you can do to help others. And that's what I've been kind of preaching to you guys and trying to help you, you know, get out there for the last few weeks. Well, my gift is teaching. And so that's why I've been doing this as well. I love Sherry saying it's painful to walk into a space she can't change. I feel your pain, Sherry. I feel your pain. Um, so I also recommended, you know, using technology like a Dropbox where they can easily upload their photos so you can look at the photos ahead of time before you even get on that call. Because a lot of people were like, I don't want to get on a call with somebody. What if I don't know what the space looks like? Have them send you the photos. And I gave you kind of the um, email, kind of that 
this is kind of the steps that you need to take. You know, the client books the discovery call. You send them the email. I gave you the example email to have them photograph their space. They had little instructions on how to photograph their space and upload photos to your Dropbox folder. I recommend somebody was really smart. They said, Audra, how do if we how do we automate that email but have a different Dropbox folder for each client? Don't just have one Dropbox folder um, that you keep open or available to anyone to upload stuff. And then when they do, just take those photos and then you sh shove them in a different folder. That's an easy way of doing it. Um, and then you can give them a questionnaire if you want or ask them questions in the email. And then you have the discovery call. And this was the email that I had you copy and paste that you could use. So you could put that into Zoom if you want and just have it completely automated. Um, so all of this was in that A to Z guide. For those of you who didn't go through that guide yet, it is all there, walks you through how to go remote with your clients. Um, how do you charge people for the phone consult? Colleen, great question. What I suggested in that A to Z guide is that that first call, that first guidance call is 30 minutes is free. Um, but how you would charge people after that is you just go with your regular process of how you normally would bill clients. So, you know, I have, I have clients who, you know, they use, you know, QuickBooks or they use, you know, FreshBooks or 17 hats or they, you know, just use Square, you know, however you normally charge your clients after that, you know, if you're, if they, if they decided to sign up for a full consultation, that's how you're going to collect payment. <laughs> Don't reinvent the wheel with your entire business. You're just tweaking the first part of it so that you can go remote and get clients comfortable with Zoom. Um, good question. Yeah, Google Photos is another great one. Sian, I love that. Um, however is easy for you. I just said Dropbox, Dropbox what I use, but Google Photos is another good one. Um, oh, Teresa says she couldn't copy that little box of how to take the photos. You know what? I'm going to include that in email. Sorry about that. That was weird that that didn't come across. Um, Wave app, Wendy, yeah, is another free accounting. There's so many great services. Um, but I did tell you guys, because I know it's a little uncomfortable at first, practice with friends, right? If you're uncomfortable with that first Zoom call because it's an unusual way for you to have done things, um, Okay, I love Kim. You've, you've done it. You've read it. Um, do you suggest having package deals? Oh, Lynn, of course. I mean, in my training, I, you know, for staging training, that's just getting into like staging services. Absolutely. Stair step packages. That's just pricing 101 um, because not everyone um, wants full service and not everyone's a DIY, right? So give people that choice. Love it. Great questions. So getting back to the practice with friends, I was kind of cracking up because I got into in, in my training, we have a private Stagers Connect group, and that's where I usually get a lot of the photos I'm going to share with you over the next few weeks. I've been a lot of great before and after photos and things like that. Um, but Amy threw out, she said, hey, does anyone want to practice with me? Because she's obviously gone through the A to Z guide. She got over 22 comments like that. And then she created this, okay, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to practice together. So if you can practice with friends or you can practice with peers, why not? I kind of love that. All right. So that was all in this guide. So that's where I'm at. I'm recapping for those of you who weren't with me, the in the guide. So last week's happy hour, I have, and all of the replays are on that grow page, just so you know. So if you may be like, ah, I don't need to watch the past happy hours, do the implementation. It would take you a day to do this, guys. I mean, the one happy hour where I gave you this guide would probably take you a couple hours to set this up. Acuity, copy, paste. I mean, I gave you all the forms. It's just all right there. I love it. Amy says she's, Amy, you're on the line. I love it. She's practicing tomorrow. And that's how we get good at this, right? But the beauty of the timing of this, and this is why I'm, I want to encourage my new stagers and even people thinking about staging, the beauty of this is everyone is a little raw, right? We're all going through this together. And I think that when we all go through something together, we have a lot more patience for someone who's just really honest, like, hey, I normally do face-to-face -face appointments. This is my first Zoom call with a client. Um, so bear with me as we do this together, right? Why not be honest with our clients? Of course they know you don't normally do Zoom stuff. We're making it work, right? We're, we're working around the coronavirus. Um, uh, so, sorry, I was looking at the chat. So last week, I had an even better idea on how you can market the service um, to your clients. Oh, I got some questions here. Okay, 
before I get to that, because we're all caught up to last week's materials, let me quickly get to this question. Teresa, hi, Audra, I only do vacant staging. I'm not sure how to charge for virtual staging. What if they want five rooms? Is there some place in the training can I reference? Oh, Teresa, I talked about virtual staging in the last session. I, I, that's a whole other session. So send me an email and I can send you the video to that. But that was in last week's session. I talked about how to virtual staging. Vacant staging, you know, vacant staging you can still do. I mean, if the place is empty, no one's touching it. It depends on where you're at across the country. But I, stagers are still you know, doing some of that. Now, I'm not saying whether you should or shouldn't, depending on where you're at. But when we're all out of this, when it's, we're going to be all be out again, right? But vacant, they're empty homes, you know? So, um, Susan, I love that. Always be honest. Virus or no virus? She is absolutely right. Sherry, how do you ensure once you start working on a project with a client doing e-design that you'll be paid upon completion? Get char you charge ahead of time. They'll be seeing the designs, whatever. Yes, Sherry. Pay I always recommend no matter what job you're doing, you get payment up front. And the beauty of doing a 30-minute kind of free guidance call during this time is, hey, Joe, your, your house you know, there's so much that we just did in our 30 minutes together. I recommend that we spend a couple hours on the phone together. I can create a plan for you. Um, and that's like a full staging consult. The cost of that consult's $250. Um, what do you think? You know, obviously I'm not, but that's, that's kind of how you, you know, you talk it. And you can say yes or no or whatever. That's great. And then you charge them up front. I love it. <laughs> um, yes, you charge in full up front. Yes, Alba, I do. I even recommend you do for the vacant jobs before you load those trucks, right? A lot of work goes into what we put into. And most stagers are doing that as well. So I just want to encourage you. Um, can they pay via PayPal at the same time they book your time? Yes, Sion, I think they can. Acuity connects with PayPal, especially if you're using that or Stripe. That's the awesome thing about the Acuity $15 a month. The extra $15 a month really helps. So if you don't automatically have, like somebody said, how do you get payment? Acuity, I think, can connect to your PayPal or Stripe. It's pretty amazing. Uh, Kim, where do you recommend we focus the 30 minute? I say you do a quick walkthrough. Do a quick walkthrough of the home. I mean, this is for staging, not design. Um, you're gonna you're gonna know because you're gonna have the photos ahead of time so that you can actually know some of the hot spaces you really want to hit right away. You're gonna have some ideas for that living room probably and that kitchen. I love it. Um, people should be paid at least half before seeing. Yeah, I love you guys already, your comments. Okay, I'm moving on because last week's session, I'm really curious to get your feedback on to see who actually did it. I asked you guys to be bold. I, um, because in last week's session, I had members who, this was the imagery I gave you. This was Canva imagery where I said, here's four steps to staging success. Schedule your free discovery call, photograph your space, follow my quick staging tips and decide to do more or just DIY, right? I kept it really simple so that your clients can understand. And then I used the same thing for design. And I told you guys, here's the templates, work your magic on it. And I had so many people do beautiful things. So Jennifer took the template, she changed, she did a little vignette photo here and she did her color, it was beautiful. But Jennifer took it one step further, a little smarter than me. She actually included her phone number and everything else. Actually, I think I had that on there. I'm not sure. Um, but make sure you did it. I love what, um, I, think, I can't remember. Oh, Christine, I think, did this one, um, making your home your haven. She really did a good job of connecting her um, fonts there. And she really made it clean looking. You could see a lot about people's style. And that's the beauty of Canva is you can just take my templates, guys, and just work your magic, right? Uh, Melissa even added a background uh, pattern to hers, which I kind of loved. And she got, I shared last week of how she's gotten great response from her agent. So I said, you know, this is a time when we're connecting. These are strange times. How can I help you to my friends, to your friends and your clients, to agents? This is a time you need to reach out if for stagers to your agents. Say, how can we, how can I help you? We can do this remotely. Let's work together. Let's work as a team. And then when you have those jobs, I mentioned how easy it is to post that experience. You have that Zoom call, take a screenshot of your fun Zoom call with somebody, thank them on Facebook for the fun that you guys had working remotely. We're working through it. You know, we're working through this, you know, virus or no virus, we are working through this. We are helping each other. Um, and then I got the question from a lot of you, Audra, how do I reach my friends and agents about my new remote services when I don't even have an email list? Oh no, you gotta have an email list. <laughs> I get it. 
So I thought about that one for you guys and I asked you to be bold. How many of you guys took my advice where I told you to Facebook message? I walked you through how to do it. Um, and I recommended messaging friends. I gave you the script. I gave you the message. I recommended messaging agents. I gave you the scripts. I gave you the message. And then I told you not to send it to more than 20 because your mess Facebook messaging is very personal and you have to be very, very personal. Unlike that email I told you where they didn't even, I didn't, I should have showed you. It wasn't even addressed to me. It didn't even have my name on it. It was just agents, attention. You know, you have to be personal. Leslie, and Leslie did it. She sent it to 10 agents. I love it, Leslie. Ann did it, great. So good. Oh, Shay, you need the script. Don't worry, Shay, it'll be in the download. I'll show you it too. But basically I walked you through, um, you know, using my imagery and sending this. This was the script for messaging your friends on Facebook. Hey, obviously be personal, name. I know these are strange times and you're doing your part by staying in, which is awesome. While inside, you've probably gotten a bit antsy on fixing up your home, am I right? I was feeling the same, so I thought I might be nice to offer some free design guidance calls to friends to help you love your home while you're staying in a bit more, right? No pressure, thought it might be helpful. Here's a link to my free guidance call. Insert Acuity link, right? And then, and then include the image, the one, two, three image in the message. I, I'm kind of going through this. I can't look at the chat yet. I'm excited to do it. But I told you you had to copy and paste it. You can't just type it in. You don't know how to copy and paste. Control C, Control V into Facebook. Change the first name. Add your Acuity link. And see what happens. You're throwing out your help. You're throwing out your gift. Jan says, we love. Yay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, people love this, you guys. I wish you were all on the line last week. Here's the script to agents, though. And I know I shared Anne's success story because Anne sent it to eight agents and she heard back from three. That's unbelievable to get a fit. But, but it makes sense. It's Facebook Messenger. We look at our Facebook Messenger, right? And nobody wants to be spammed on their Facebook Messenger. I told you the message needs to be unique, not the email that I showed you at the beginning of this presentation. You don't want to go that route. In personal, loud, hell, you know, buy from us. No, oh, it's too salesy. We don't need to do that, right? So this is the script to agents, and that is, okay, I know times are tough for sellers, and I really appreciate all you're doing to meet their needs. You're awesome, right? I'm just addressing that every, agents have been really amazing. If you're an agent, kudos to you, because I know these are tough times that they're working with their clients. And so this message is, I'm sending you this image. So we're just giving them the one, two, three image to help you with your current sellers and remote listing presentations to encourage them, right? With the right staging photos and price, they can still sell their home. No pressure. I just hope this image was helpful to you. That's it. It's We're not even asking them to buy from us. We're not being loud. We're trying to help them do their job, right? So if they, So then you send the image. And if the agent replies back with like a thank you or whatever, say, hey, I'm also happy to chat further to strategize with you. And then you can include your acuity link. Um, so I mentioned, this is what it looks like. Here's, you know, if you're messaging, you know, you just message it right there. You hit messenger if you've never Facebook messaged anybody. Oh, I couldn't figure out how to send a Facebook messenger message from my business. So I do it via personal. Oh, that Leslie, that's probably true. You probably do, but that's okay. That's okay because your business and personal are probably not too different. Um, and these are times to be personal. And that's okay. Your agents probably understand that. I get it. Um, so then you include the image. And then I showed you this was Anne's success. She she did took the image. I love it. She actually took one of my one of my other images, which I really did love this image, Anne, that I gave you guys. All these images are for you to use because they're from my free stock source. Um, and she kind of outlined it. And she this is when she mentioned that she threw it out to eight agents and she heard back from three. That's unbelievable, right? <laughs> I love it. So that was my marketing tip for you. It's very unique, unusual. Don't send it to a ton of people. Make sure you're personal, right? These are personal times. And to encourage you, uh, you know, when this is over, the housing market is still going to be booming, right? I mean, there's a shortage of homes out there. That hasn't changed. Economics 101, supply and demand. There's a low supply of homes, high demand, you know. Um, 
Nicole, yeah, text messaging is okay. I think Facebook is a little bit more gentle. You might want to get on Facebook or Instagram. Um, they will likely click on your personal profile. Yeah, and Hannah, no matter what, they're going to click. Even if, if you think you can hide behind your Facebook business page and nobody's going to necessarily look at your personal, yeah, they will because it's your name, right? They'll look you up. <laughs> so make sure you don't have a bunch of, uh, you know, tequila shot drinking and whatever else you <laughs> I'm teasing. Anyway, so we have to be careful with that, right? I always tell people in my training, you know, keep your politics to yourself if you can on Facebook, you know, keep your religion to yourself. If you can, because, you know, this is a beautiful thing about our country is we can believe and do whatever we want, but not everyone wants to hear us, you know, spout it out. And if you run a professional business, they, you know, you really, you know, don't want them to see that. Um, on Facebook Messenger, oh, Sian, Sian, I'm, I know I'm blowing your name, Sian Madden. You are going to have to email me because you are obviously my tech person. She's like, you could see if they've read it. I love it. <laughs> Good questions. Um, so where am I at now? Oh, I have a story for you. I have a great story for you. Colleen, I think Colleen could even be on the line, but here is Colleen. This was her photo that she sent to me. She's ready for the virtual happy hour. And Colleen signed up for my program before everything hit the fan. Right? This was March 4th. I, I always interview people like a getting to know you form. And this was her getting to know you form. It was kind of like, I'm one of those people that arranges homes. I love it. No background other than that. And then she said, you know, I had done a lot of soul searching to determine what I was passionate about. And I could see myself doing for a living and actually doing. So she was already doing this soul searching before everything hit the, before this whole thing started, which I kind of love. She's obviously already thinking. She currently owns with her wife, a family home child care and learning center. And it's the second one she has. So she was really confident in her entrepreneurial abilities. She knows she can do anything she sets her heart out to do. Um, but she knew that running that child care from her home and all the common rooms, it just made them unsatisfied with their family and home life. Hey guys, save your questions. I'm going to get to them. I just want to share the story first. And then I love how she said this. She thought and thought and seared her soul. And that really hit me, right? She seared her soul. Finally, her heart was set. She really was always in love with home staging, redesign, and professional organization. A really realizing and allowing herself to believe that she can make a living at what she's passionate about made her heart sing. I just love the way she uses her words, to be honest. Then she researched, she found us, um, and she just knew she was going to rock at it, which I love it. But, you know, flat, uh, flash forward, you know, a month and now, you know, I asked her, okay, how, how's everything going? How, how, I always check in with people 50 days into the training, you know, how, how, what's going on now? And she's like, you know what, it's, she's still working through the training, but she said that she's, you know, her family has no income now, right? I mean, if you run a daycare facility, it's shutting down. Um, nobody's putting their kids in a daycare facility right now, so they have no income. Um, and most of those families that actually were her clients that, that put the kids in the home are, you know, that one of them's laid off, right? So really tough, because I know her goal at the time was to do this while she was running her daycare. And for a lot of us, how many of you on this chat can relate to her story? Like, things have switched for us. You know, these are kind of moments in our life when it's like, whoa, okay, my plans, my best laid plans are not coming to fruition, right? And so of all the people, I think Colleen could have just been like, wow, you know what? You know, this is just too tough. You know, I can't handle it. But instead she tells me this. Thank you, Audra. It's a ton of work. Learning this new trade is exciting and it makes me want to do backflips. I'll just do those in my mind so I don't hurt myself. So I'm like, oh my gosh, she's like, she's doing backflips in the midst of all of this, which I love it. But more importantly, she's proud of herself and so is her family. She's pushed past the urge of wanting to go back and over the lessons, which I tell people not to do. And she's pushing forward. Um, with her strong A-type personality, she's learned some tough love lessons. I know all of us have in the last month, right? Being with family the entire time. But I love what she put here. I've been working 12-hour days doing the training, setting up her business, researching the programs. I had to take the last five days off of working on the training um, in her business so she can reset her boundaries, right? She just had to come to that equilibrium. And then she tells me this, boundaries found, 
I'm back. I'm ready to roar. I just was like loving that. How many of you guys are feeling like you're roaring during this time like Colleen? I mean, talk about encouraging. That's why I'm checking in with you right now. How will you remember how you use this time for yourself? Yeah, I, lo I love that too, Danielle, right? Her, yeah, her energy, the way she wrote, I love it. So I had to change it. Roar, Alba, awesome. Yeah, right? I tell my boys this because this is a time in history for all of us, right? We're caught in the middle of history right now. And so I say, will you remember how you spent this time are you going to remember Roaring? Or are you going to be a watcher, right? And trust me, there's so many good shows on Netflix. You know, the watching is tempting. <laughs> um, I love it. Kim says she's a realtor and people are wanting to buy. Each market's different. It's, it is. And she's right. People are out there. They want it. I love it. Colleen, you go, girl. Kathy. Kathy, you are an encourager. I love it. Robin. And it is true, but Colleen's story could be like all of our stories because I, I know her story resonated with me because the moment this hit and I decided I want to do these happy hours so we could get together, I, I want to be a roar. I'm going to remember those, right? So I'm checking in you again. It's a unique time. This is probably one of the most unique times for you to switch your business, make it more remote. You may decide you want to keep some of it more automated and remote because a lot of the stuff I'm teaching you is about automation, right? Um, but it's also a unique opportunity to connect with people. And during stressful, unique times, people will remember you. They're going to remember you as the person that connected and helped, or they're going to remember you as the person that was kind of sending emails that had no connection and were tone deaf, right? That's why I said, is this your time? Um, oh, somebody said this. <laughs> I tried, posted a bold message. You know, you know, you could do some message on your Facebook page, but I recommend being more personal. Go to your Facebook, your realtor connections on Facebook. I mean, when it comes to marketing, hopefully you have some Facebook friends that are agents that you've connected with and, and now take my other remote. It's okay to say, hey, I can work remote. There, there's nothing wrong with that. But the mass email that's not personal to anyone, I, I never recommend you ever send an email without putting a person's name in it. You know, email systems let you do that. It's not that hard. Um, I love it. Stacy says her internet provider salesman became a client today. His family's moving. I love it. See, Stacy, she's still in the mode. Um, Catherine, yeah, you probably do it on LinkedIn. People just aren't as responsive on LinkedIn as they probably are Facebook. So that's why I'm saying Facebook. So just a lot better. Um, are you connecting with your inner compass? So this is one thing I always talk to you guys about because we have this love for design and it is your compass, right? It, it, it pushes you in the direction of where your true north goes. So this is a good time, just like what Colleen did where she had to take a moment to recalibrate. This is our moment collectively during this time where we have a gift of time to recalibrate, connect with our inner compass, our true north, and make sure we're doing what we really want to be doing. And I speak to people who are um, are thinking about staging, but I'm also speaking to my stagers who have found themselves doing jobs that they that they don't, it's not their inner compass, right? Um, and it's also especially important for all of us to be flexing our creative muscles all the time. Use your creativity because creativity is, is a muscle. The more you use it, the better you get, and you can still do that um, in this time. Um, okay. I love it. You guys are great. <laughs> um, okay. I see. Is anyone on the East Coast? Okay, great. LinkedIn is tough. Instagram is the way, I believe. Yes. Instagram is another. Yeah. You're my, um, whatever you're most comfortable with, right? <laughs> Stacey's getting more wine. Okay. Cheers. Other story I had to share. Adrian Porter just tagged me in this like today. And she said, Easter quarantine, the girls jockeying for sun and me studying. Captured from our alley by Francis, Patty, she tagged Patty, I don't know who, noticed the pants. They are magic. This will be a fun memory to reflect on as I'm finishing week one of my training. And she posted it with her girls. Her girls were her puppies, which I thought were kind of funny. But she's basically remembering spending, she wanted to post her Facebook post to remember what she was doing during this time. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and Rob, I shared Rob's email, I know Rob's on the line, um, yesterday, which I thought was really cool, Rob from Boston, and I don't know about you guys, if any of you are Survivor fans like me, that one was like, Rob from Boston, anyway, but he used this time to give back and, and work forward. 
which I thought was really cool. And I shared his story of doing that. Um, and then he said a note to me. He must know that I'm I'm a sucker for quotes. You guys know this. I always send quotes in my emails. And he gave me this quote. Um, he signed up and he's looked around. Um, he says, in the words of Antonio Gaudi, and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong and I love him, tomorrow we will do beautiful things. And that's how he is going to spend his time. He's looking forward to happy hour tonight. Here's a picture of his back deck. And he put that quote, tomorrow we will do beautiful things. What beautiful things are, we, are you guys going to do tomorrow? <laughs> I think you guys are, oh, Boston Rob. Yeah, <laughs> you're right, Allison. <laughs> I love it. So that's kind of the point, right? We're all working together. You can't control these circumstances. There's Rob. Yeah, I love that Rob. Rob's got a quote for me. I'm keeping that one. You can't control the circumstances, but we can control our response, right? We all know that. So we're using these moments to create the life and business we want. So I recapped everything I went over in the last four weeks all in one you know, really quick hour with you. And I'm so sorry that I was, if, for those of you who hadn't been on my past calls or in like, Audra, my head's spinning. Don't worry, it'll be in the download I'm going to give to you. Now, yes, now I'm going to take your questions while we have these last five minutes. And I'm also going to send you, well, let me post, well, I'll post the file at the end. Liz, thank you. I love it. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to get together, right? So anyone with any questions that I can help you with? Oh, Danielle loves your rug and pillows, Rob. Yeah. Rob, I just want Rob, I just want to go to your deck and have my wine. The third <laughs> Deborah, the third myth. I miscounted. Two myths. Sorry about that. Um oh, what would you include in the agent strategy call? Great idea, Angela. Actually, that's where you can talk to them about your process, your automated process to get sellers kind of excited and empowered to re really rework their home. And you give them enough great information um, that that you that they can kind of get started because a lot of people haven't they took their home off the market right and so they need that help to kind of get started. What I recommend in that pre call is tell your Tell your sellers to get some blue tape or just any tape. And as you do the quick walkthrough, have them put a piece of tape on an item to start packing right away, right? Every stager knows the one thing, you know, number one that we like to do for clients of the eight steps that I usually walk my stagers through. First step is first impressions. What's going to be the buyer's first impression when they walk into that space, right? That's super critical. Second step, eliminating clutter. That's something you can do in 30 minutes. They put blue tape on items. I love it. Um, Wendy, for an occupied stage that needs to rent items, should we be offering rentals? No, I would not recommend that. Wendy, it's time for them to shop online. Um, and Wayfair is a great way to start. You know, most of the stuff they can get on Wayfair, um, Amazon, and send them links. You know, Wayfair, you, you actually can create a board and send them links. I do have the e-design training where my e-designers do create boards that they can send um, links. Uh, and so that's also really helpful. Maggie, can we learn how to virtually stage occupied homes? Um, you know, I went over that in last week. So you're going to want to watch last week's session. I went all over that already. Um, I would really like to purchase your website. Can this be purchased alone or as an add-on? Um, Catherine, the, you know, I think you're thinking of my the website add-on. It is an add-on for my members at $6.99. We don't really make any money on it. I just don't want anyone's business to be slowed up by not having a website. And I'm a tech geek. I love website stuff. So um, we're always updating those. So if you're a member, you can add it in the member store at any time. Yes, Wayfair, I love. Um, Shay, I use design files and, and and you know, I could probably, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see, I'm going to do this. Um, oh, wait, let me try something here. I'm going to end this. I'm going to do a little tech here and go to, so for those of you who are talking about boards, I, here. Shay asked about design files. Design files is actually introducing a uh, brand new 3D board tech, tem, tech uh, you know, they're a new technology. So I use design files in my e-design training. In my e-design training, every one of my templates, these are all of my HSR templates, goes straight into the account of the person that buys my training. So that's why we love design files, not just because 
but you can see there's 80 other boards. So that's why that e-design training's kind of cool. Not that I want to give you a sales pitch, but a lot of people wonder, how do you do that? It's actually really, really easy to create these. And as you can see, you never have to start from scratch when you have my boards. There is a 50 minute walkthrough, yeah. Um, yes, Melissa, all of last week's webinars from the happy hours are on the HSR site, homestagingresources.com forward slash grow. Um, I want to know, do you need to have a staging certificate if you're, or be an interior designer? Bernice, no, no, you don't. You need to love design, have a passion for design. Um, my staging certification training is not so that you can just say, I got my certificate. It's so that you're not reinventing. That, that's, that's kind of my whole approach. Oh, Patricia, hats off, Patricia. You're, I meant to shout out to you. You're one of my faves, I love it. Um, E-Design, oh, thank you, Catherine, you're so great. Patty, are you affiliate partners with any online companies? You know, I really do need to do an affiliate training. I, I can do that, but no, none of these are affiliate links. I'm not making money off you guys. And that's kind of the beauty of you guys working with your clients, right? You don't, I mean, you can put affiliate links on your boards if you'd like. It's not that hard, right? Wayfair has affiliate program, Amazon, there, there's a bunch that do um, but I just think sometimes your clients might sense that you have an agenda and the beauty of this is that you, you, you're getting paid for the time that you spent doing that board for them um, Cheryl yeah I'll add it to the training I will do Wendy I'm gonna do okay I will add it to the e-design training good idea there's a lot of resources for that it's not that hard um, all right thank you Kristen now I'm gonna give you the file and hope that this doesn't crash let me share Hopefully you guys see this. It is the links and resources for like the last five weeks. I don't know if you see, it'll probably show up at the bottom of your screen. Um, yeah, the boards are pretty cool. I wish I could say I make them, but people better than me make these boards. <laughs> I just lay claim to them. Um, Audra, thanks. Oh, Rob, thank you. Uh, Paula, there are a lot of coastal templates. Wish there were more modern. Oh, good, good. Put your request in, Paula. We will do it. In fact, I think we're working on kitchens now. Um, Bernice, yeah, they're fun to make. Y'all, I have, thank you every week. Oh, you guys are great. Okay, any other questions or anything? Um, let me turn that off. Okay. Oh, thank you. You guys are great. It was fun, right? Hopefully I see you next week. Um, hopefully you're able to go back, get that file. It's going to walk you through all. I'm so sorry that I feel like I was very much all over the place today. Because um, <laughs> I was just kind of going through five weeks of materials in like one hour. But when you get to that that page on my site, um, it'll all kind of make sense. Just go slowly through it. Add remote services to your business. Make those connections send me an email. If you are going to use my script and I give you all this good stuff, especially for that Facebook Messenger, I am dying to know how that works for you. So please send me an email so I can share your stories. And if you would like, um, how do I get last week? Tiffany, last week's video will be on that. It is on home staging resources, homestagingresources.com grow. So it is on oops actually i'm on the right page so grow so you'll see it on the files there's links to it all it's all over my website i'm trying i'm trying to get it out fast like this video will not be out probably for a few days because what i do is re-record it and all so that people can see your beautiful chat because your chat is kind of a special thing for everybody to see thank you scott Scott put it out there. He's wonderful. There's the link. Scott shared the link for where all of the materials are. I've been correlating it all. Um, oh, I love what um, Michelle just said. Thank you. Several decades. Your dreams. Yeah, people are making their dreams come true. This is a good time to hit reset and why not pursue it? Um, Bella, okay, she has a question about my course. When you sign up, your membership lasts a year. It's a three-week program. It's self-paced, so you have all these great resources at your fingertips for a year. Um, you don't have to renew. You always earn your certification. It's yours. People usually renew because I'm always adding to it and also because they go into my directory and they usually get business from being in my directory, hopefully. Um, we're, I, I really work hard at trying to bring realtors and sellers to our directory. 
So it's $250 to renew um, if you want to. And I always tell people that's a business decision. Um, but once you're, once you're my person, you're always my person, you know. Thank you guys. You guys were great. Um, it's, <laughs> you guys are great. Best motivation. I try and be motivational. I try and motivate myself. <laughs> um, thank you, Meg. Uh, all right. You guys, cheers. Cheers to you. We will see you next week. Send me an email and take care.